Okay guys, I do apologize for that. I do apologize for that odd cut there. My air conditioning decided to be really, really noisy, so I figured I would just cut the video there, or at least how I'm going to- ooh, weird flicker. How I'm going to do the video, because we are almost done with this little kind of quest thing we gotta go on, guys. So then, go back to Starlight Canyon, after you have that little cutscene, and now go to this area. Okay, let's see what's going on now. Alright, so we are now dropped off. And the condor is actually coming to us. Condor, we don't want to fight. We want to ask you something. Hmm? What's that now? We're looking for a white wind flower. Have you seen any near here? White wind flower? Haven't heard of it. Damn it. I bet you could find one from the sky. Will you help us look? Hmm? I don't think so. I've got enough to worry about. What's the matter? Look at that, will you? Some weird old something is up above my home with my dear chicks inside. Aw, poor things. I'd like to give my sweet children some food, but I can't get near the place. Looks like a time distortion. Time distortion? What? I guess time is starting to be affected in this era, too. Distortion? That's right. When Griffin disturbed the flow of time, it started to warp and become strained in places. Those places are time distortions. There are already lots of time distortions in my era, but it looks like they've started happening in this time, too. That sucks. How can we get rid of it? Whenever there's a time distortion, there's always a fragment that falls out somewhere nearby. If you hit that fragment into the distortion, you can make the distortion go away. Really? You can get rid of it? Well, what are you waiting for? I'll help you find your white wind thingy when you're done. Really? Okay, Monica, let's get rid of it. It's not all that easy. Here, hold on. So, why is it not that easy at all? Now, where is it? There it is. This is it. This is a time distortion fragment. It's also called a sphere. Be careful, you can't touch it with your bare hands. You hit it with a long stick or something. It's not too complicated, but it's hard to get it into the distortion. We need some kind of long stick to hit the sphere with. See if there's some kind of stick handy. Then I'll show you how to hit the sphere. Alrighty then, so we need to get our hands on a stick now. Which I find kind of stupid we have to go look for a damn stick. But no guys, we are actually uh, coming up on those little question mark areas. This is the other game that we can play besides fishing to get our hands on some metals. And uh, we'll find out the name of it. I gotta find a damn stick. Where's a damn stick at? Gotta be one around here somewhere. Or, do, or did she already get I don't think no, I don't think she gave it to us yet. It's probably nearby, I just stupid and I can't fucking find it. <laughs> did we find it? Thank god. Like seriously, it's like I can't see the fucking thing. Where the hell is the goddamn stick? <laughs> Okay, so just go forward from the sphere and then you'll find the stick to those uh, playing along at home. If you can't find the damn thing. Okay then, so actually no, let's go talk to Monica now. Hey, you got one! Okay, let's try it. Okay, listen up. You hit the sphere with the stick Okay, the I am not going to actually, uh... Take a good shot and you'll... But there's one thing you've got to remember. When you hit the time distortion fragment, also called the sphere, if the distortion is blue, you can only wipe it out with the red. When the sphere and the distortion are the same color, so if your sphere is the same color as the distortion, you have to hit it up against a wall or something. We call this hitting the sphere up against a wall to change its color bumping. You can bump the sphere as many times as you want, but the number of shots you can take are... If you don't get the sphere into the distortion within the allotted number of shots, this... In my era, we call the act of wiping out time distortions like this, Sphita. Yes, it's basically golf. Some people even play Sphita like a sport. 
With the world in danger like this, I know it sounds pretty dumb, but I guess people like to escape from reality. That's about it. Did you get all that? Want me to explain again? No. Okay, you can try it now. Okay, I'm gonna try my best, but I hate Svita. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to some people out there who might really like Svita. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry to people who really like Svita out there. Uh, it's just that it is too difficult. Yeah, we actually have to equip the stick, kind of like the fishing rod. Svita is too difficult. That this is why I don't like it. Actually, someone online uh, who's posting on my videos. Thank you very much for watching. I forgot your name. I will post it in, on the video again. Uh, to talk about it, was saying how he actually plays the game on an emulator and talking about how, you know, it's a lot better to play with save states. And you know what? I could totally see that. Save states, I think, really would work out here. Because if you if you fail it during an actual mission, you're fucked. You have to, you have to defeat the whole mission all over again to play it, and it's just you don't get enough time to practice or anything. So sadly, if you were to ask me, I hate Sfida. Uh, you know, I really like fishing in this game, but I think Dark Cloud 2 really dropped the ball with Sfida here. And making it so that you have to get medals this way, ugh, I just I just don't like it personally. And I probably already fucked this up. Yep, fucked it up. What you're supposed to do is hit it off the star and everything. And then find- oh, no, fucked it up. Of course. So anyway, yeah. Uh, we have to basically hit it on this thing and then hopefully bounce it off. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done. I kind of don't want to get it done because there's actually a funny cutscene you can get. Yeah, see? It, it, it's very difficult and I, I honestly think adding the whole bumping mechanic to it is honestly a little bit too much. Either have it so that it, you can do it whenever you want. You can... I, I, just, I just think the three mechanics of either giving you a time limit to how many times you can hit it uh, making it so that the um, sphere has to be a certain color, and also making you refight a fucking dungeon if you can't get it right. I just, you know, I just, I, I don't think those are a good way to really make it. I think if they dropped at least one of those, the game would maybe be a little bit more fun, but whatever. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not, I just, I can't get this right. And there's not enough time for me to train and all that to get it done, so. What do you do? But if you fail... Try again? No. Because we get a funny cutscene here. Stink, Max. Let me do it. <laughs> you stink, Max. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, Monica has all the animations and everything to do all Svita. Watch me. And there we go. I got it. Nice one, Monica. But yeah, sadly, Monica can act, can't actually play Sfida. It's kind of like with fishing. Only Max can do it. I don't get why. Maybe it's because only Max can is allowed to actually equip the weapon or something like that. Maybe just kind of it, it's issues with the engine or the game itself. I, I think it's personally dumb, but whatever. You know, you can't use Monica, especially for Sfida. I don't know. I, I think I would have liked them to switch it off, but maybe there's a reason why they didn't want to have both characters do it. Alright, so she can luckily get in there and uh, get to her babies, which is pretty sweet. And she can also help us find that damn flower. I'm grateful for your help. Thank you all so much. How can I ever repay you? Uh, what's that on your head? Hey, look! What? This is it! The flower we've been looking for! Somehow I got attached to her head. I don't get it, but whatever. It's just a fast way to get it back. Or to actually get our hands on the flower after helping out. I can't believe your flower would be growing on my head. Take it if that's what you need. After all, it's thanks to you that my children are safe and sound. Thank you, Mrs. Condor. Well, I'm off. Sadly, she will not help us go to different areas without meat. I forgot. Uh, when that strange whole thingy disappeared a while ago, this fell out. It just gets in my way. Here, take it. We get our hands on a Speeda Club. See Turkey. You. So yeah, so, I mean, Speed is interesting. I do like the way that they try to implement it within the game in terms of all that kind of crap. But it's just, I don't think it works out. But anyway, Speeda, not cleared. The cool thing is, is that you do get items when you clear the Sfida board. 
So in all honesty, if you guys want to go and get it to get your hands on items, I don't know if you can retry levels to get your hands on more items, but because I've gotten gems sometimes from them, and you know what? If you can get gems from them, that's cool. So if you want to, if you like Sfida, you know, go for you guys because you get more medals, you get more items. It's really useful, but for me, it's just I don't like it. It's too difficult, and really, it just uh, it's a pain in the ass for me. So I do apologize out there, you know, if you, like I said, if you can find fun in Sfida, I, all, all the power to you guys, because that's awesome, but not me, sorry. I just, Dark Cloud dropped the ball on that one when it comes to me, and so, yeah, there we go. <laughs> not really much else to say, so let's get our hands on that damn miracle dish. So then, I hope you guys have been enjoying this new area and all that. I really didn't explore it because I was too afraid of that damn glitch to show up, but now that I got the bridge here, I'm really not worried, and I've actually decided that I do not want to care about getting that extra fruit of Eden for the whole glitch thing by waiting until chapter 6. Fuck it. I, I can go through the game just fine without it. Personally, anyway, I think so. If not, well, I deal with it. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got this thing, let's do our little fun stuff. By the way, you can take a lot of pictures in here. Scroll. Actually, pork dumplings. I love how he can make his mustache move. Special duck. Yeah, a lot of stuff you can take pictures of in here. So do that if you want them photography points, which is not just for scoops. Which I think I made clear in the post commentary. I don't know. I need to write down what I need to put in there. All right, white windflower. Wow, unbelievable! You've got a white windflower. Now you'll make your miracle dish for us, right? Of course! It's been quite a while, but let's give it a whirl. Alright! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> All done! Here you go. There's our miracle dish, folks. This will make Lynn better. Yeah, let's hurry! Lao Chao, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hope it does the trick. Alright, I think, guys, we're going to be able to heal in. This is awesome. Oh, you're still in the building. <laughs> we're all running towards it, all happy and stuff, and then we just disappear. So, anyway, guys, we're going to be able to heal in now, which is pretty damn awesome if you do, if I do say so myself. This is really going to help. This is uh, really going to help out, I think so. So yeah, kind of weird how they do the whole... I just... I, I kind of find it funny almost that they kind of go for the whole pseudo-medicine kind of thing. But you know, a lot of fantasies do that. Oh, you know, in real life there is no, you know, miracle cure-all kind of thing. But there's one thing is that, you know, in fantasies and whatnot, it's interesting. And you know what? It works, I think. So, yep. Alrighty then. So let's go give her this damn dish and uh, heal her up, hopefully. Because if not, I don't know what we're going to do. Gotta beat her up or something. I mean, we're in an RPG. That's really the best way to do it, isn't it? How did it go? No need to worry. He made us the miracle dumplings. Yeah, they look really good too. Hands off! Those are for Lin. I know, I know. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get them to her. Okay. Ready then, Lin. Open wide. For a chestnut. Actually, we got a mighty heal. Will that work? Nah, okay. Damn. Guys are no fun. Ooh, she's coming too. I. Uh, what? What happened? Lin. Oh, thank goodness you're all better. Argo, please. Why am I here? Has Master Crest gone off the training? Why didn't he wake me? Oh no. Lin. Why, Argo? You don't remember then about Master Crest? Who? Looks like she's lost her memory. Huh? Lin, Master Crest. What about him? Uh, Master Crest is gone, Lin. He's dead. What? <laughs> Come on, Argo. Don't joke around. So you really don't remember? You must have amnesia. 
Master Crest gave his life to protect the Moon Crystal. He was a brave and wise mage. What? But... What are you saying, Largo? Where is Master Crest? Tell me, where is he? <laughs> Listen closely, Lin. I know you may not remember, but... You and Master Crest set out, like always, to inspect the Moon Crystal. But that day was different. A flying warship appeared in the night sky and opened fire on the lighthouse. Master Crest sacrificed himself to keep the lighthouse's Moon Crystal safe from harm. You must have seen that happen, Lin. You yourself came to me in tears and told me all about it. Have you really forgotten? No, I don't believe my master's dead. Lin, I know you don't want to believe it, but you'll never move forward if you keep running from the truth. Lin, we can go save Crest right now. We'll change his history so he won't have to die. You can save him? Why don't you come with us? If your memory returns, you can help save him. My memories... Master... Master Crest, I don't know. I just don't know. I can't remember anything. Lin, in the very depths of your heart, I think you want to forget you ever saw Master Crest's death. That's why you can't remember it. But your memories are crucial if we are to save Master Crest. You must do your best to remember. <sighs> Don't worry, there's plenty of time. Let's take Lynn with us and go to the Cape Lighthouse. Maybe that will help her to remember something. Yes, we have to try. Then please, look after Lynn. Good luck, and be careful. Okay, guys, so, uh, sorry for that wait there for a second. But basically, Lynn has joined our party. Now then, uh, Lynn is a temporary character. She has to stay in your party. You cannot get rid of her. <clears throat> so all those bombs and everything beforehand, you might want to go stock up on items that you need to have to be with characters with the train. Oh, I didn't even think about this. Fuck, I can't train up Max and shit with Lynn in my party. Oh, goddamn, I didn't think about that. Well, fuck me. <laughs> I probably should have done that beforehand. My bad. But anyway, Monica and all that, uh, guess what? She uh, has the ability, get a bonus point when you upgrade a Brassard. Yes. And she is a temporary character, which is why I want to do this giant fucking training up of uh, characters. Or of the bracelet uh, that has the absorb ability in it so that it is easier to get my hands on. So we are going off a long waiting period, guys, for this episode and the next episode. And it's probably going to be until after I hit one of my... Uh, I go on a family vacation every year, and it's probably going to be afterwards of that. So it's going to be a little bit of time, but I am going to be training up buttloads in that time. You know, I might not even care about a lot of the points I'm going to be missing out on and train up Max and whatnot, too. It's not like Monica didn't miss a few points every now and again as well. So, uh, yeah, no, it, that's just, that's how this way is going to work, guys. After this, we are basically done, and, uh, you know, after, after this, it, it's a long time. So I'm going to be training up a buttload. And hopefully we can get our hands, because after this we're going to get the Absorb ability. Not the Absorb, we're going to get the, um, oh no, Max has a stick, let's put that away. <laughs> but we are going to get our hands on the ability which will allow us to uh, gain more abs points. Which is fucking crucial. And it's going to take a while, it's going to take a lot of uh, time, and just, we're going to do our best to get it done with. So yeah, um, I don't know much else to say. We are basically done with this recording here, and I'm going on a large fucking session. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Dark Cloud 2. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.